Hi, I'm Maurice from Doc's Fishing Charters. Today we're fishing Delacroix, Louisiana. Don't fish it much, it's just a nice getaway from my home port, Lafitte. Trying a couple of spots, uh, we're throwing some spoons and man, mid one minuses. A couple of our favorite, my favorite baits right here. So best shallow water bait they got. Catch redfish, bass, you name it, speckled trout. This is new to me, so we're kind of just hunting and pecking. Yesterday we did good, we caught our limit. We had 15 reds, one big giant freshwater cat, and one great largemouth bass. So you never know what you can catch in Louisiana. Y'all come down and get some of this. Oh, there's some bait out there. We got some bait. Come on, red. Well, the water conditions are kind of muddy where we're at right now, so we're going to go explore the other side of the bay. Uh, sight fishing is going to be tough today unless we found some clean water. And yesterday was the same condition, and later on in the day it cleaned up, so we were able to sight fish a few fish. But uh, we just got to find some clean water somewhere, so we're going to search the bay. Let's do it. go far because there's no crab traps. The crab is in this area and know where the deeper water is and know where the, the crabs are and the redfish likes to eat crabs so we want to be where the fish are. And if you don't see crab traps nine, nine out of ten times you shouldn't be in that area because it's too shallow to fish. So uh, we stopped where we, we felt safe and we found some clean water, found some bait and it's just a matter of time till we get on some reds. <laughs> Here we go. Well, the West Bank chapter we of uh, we CCA, it. this is uh, what we like to do, come out and clean up the water as the best yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, we'll we like to do our part. Barely hooked. Yeah, good, Still man. landed on the... Damn, what I'm talking about. Come on, get him, get him. <laughs> come on. Come on. Huh? Why'd we fish over here? Oh, he's got some back. Nice job. Yeah. Look at those spots. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ooh, that's a big. straighten out. <laughs> That's alright though with these man's baits. It's so strong man. All you got to do is just push it right back and boom. You in action. There it is. Man's baits. That blue tail. Yes, He's feeding. You know now that's a question I have. What is the difference how to you know with the pumpkin colors versus the bluish colors? It's how long they've been in the marsh and how long they acclimated to the area. The, the, the fish that just arrived are going to be that darker gray not as bright orange. And then if they've been here a few years, I've seen them almost pumpkin color. Punk all the way. One little strip of white on the belly and that's it. But it's just how long they've been in the marsh and how long they lived here. They'll stay here the whole juvenile life and then they'll just move offshore to mate. But some of them go offshore just to eat. But 
Some of them just stay in the marsh all year long. Oh, I love it. We got one. Here we go. He looks big. Look at him running straight to the boat. Oh, my boy Rob. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice fish, man. Yeah. Look at that. Doc's fishing charters. That's it. That's it. Nice job. Pretty work. Guys, another great day with Doc's Fishing Charters. Way to wrap up a great day. Reese, our cameraman, caught the last fish, a beautiful golden redfish. We're going to go back to the dock, clean these up, and go watch the Saints game and have some redfish murdock, a great dish that I invented. Come on, let's see how it's done. She's laying, she laying a redfish off the, off the half tail. Go right down the backbone. And then once I get set the belly, I come through. And sometimes I don't even go through the, the belly. It, Keeps all the guts with the fish. Then you can go around the belly. And all the guts stay with the fish. And sometimes the feet will just go through the backbone. Saves your knife that way and also keeps it a lot cleaner. There is a couple bones that you gotta do a back cut and get them bones out of there. Come on, you ready? All right, guys, this is a pretty redfish fillet. We usually get a boneless redfish fillet, take all the bones off of it. It works great for uh, the redfish murdock because redfish tends to flake up to about dime sized pieces if you don't overcook it. You know, not like these big catfish, it's turned to mush if you cook it too much. But redfish stays in nice little chunks and works great for the dish. So we'll show you how it's done in a few minutes. All this will stay with y'all. This one will get no. too bad. Hey, no, I got more fish. I don't need that much. No, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you take. No, one. I'm not taking this home. Y'all yeah. take these. All right. Just made it back from Delacroix, Louisiana. Had a great weekend with the guys from the CCA West Bank chapter. Great volunteers that help us out a lot with the CCA. And man, we watched that Saints game, and Lord knows I need a beer after that game because they drive me nuts. But I'm getting kind of hungry. I know you are too. I'm gonna go and demonstrate how you cook redfish Murdoch. It's a great dish, you're gonna love it. Let's do it guys, here's all our ingredients. Let's get it done. We're gonna have some fresh redfish that we caught from Delacroix, uh, some yellow onions, some garlic, sorry I didn't have any fresh garlic, some butter, cheese, tortilla shells, and some regular Cajun seasoning, and some cooking oil. I like using macaroni instead of toothpicks. The great thing about using macaroni to hold your tortillas together is that you can eat the macaroni once you deep fry it. Uh, Toothpick, you have to find a toothpick and then pull it back out and hopefully it don't fall apart. It's a great idea to use macaroni instead of toothpicks to hold this concoction together. First step guys is we're going to saute the redfish. I like to start with uh, adding my butter to the pan. Alright, now our butter's melted. We're going to go ahead and put the, the onions in and sweat the onions down. We're also going to add a teaspoon of uh, garlic and we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our seasoning. I like using the salt free Tony's because uh, Dr. Mike says I need to stay back from using salt free Tony's because it's very light. It'll get up in your nose. A little Cajun seasoning, some basil, black pepper, a little parsley. Alright, once you yeah, season it in your uh, Onions get sweated down a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add the fish. And these are some beautiful fillets that we just caught today. Fresh. Yeah, these are all deboned fillets. And uh, what we're going to do is not cook it till it falls completely apart. We want it to fall apart to about dime sized pieces. As redfish cook, it will naturally start flaking off. And that's what you want about dime sized pieces. You don't want to overcook it until it gets to mush. This is pretty much the consistency you want. You want it to be, you know, not falling apart, but these dime sized pieces that'll hold together really good in your, your uh, steamed tortilla shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off so you can get ready for the next phase of cooking. All right, this is just regular flour tortilla shells. And what you're gonna do is we got some water boiling. I've got a bacon splatter guard. That I like to use. It helps with the aid on this uh, steaming process. And I 
get it steam and flip it over a couple times get it nice and soft so whenever you do put the redfish in there it'll fold up nice and the next step guys is regular American cheese I know cheese and fish is a faux pas that you don't supposed to use it but I don't listen to what they say because it tastes delicious now the tortilla is nice and steamed. What we're gonna do is put a half a slice of American cheese on a tortilla shell and a scoop of the fish on a tortilla shell. The next step, guys, is the little tricky part. You're gonna fold into an envelope. What you do is fold it over one way, the next way, that way, and this way. And here's where we use the macaroni. We get a doesn't matter what kind of macaroni you use, it's wheat macaroni, whole wheat. Dr. Mai's got me on a strict diet, but don't tell him about the redfish murder. Because this ain't part of his diet. And what you do is you put it in an envelope, you fold it, and I missed. <laughs> you fold it and you go through both halves. We didn't go through both halves that time, so it'll hold it closed. And that's your redfish marduk right there. It's ready for deep frying or baking. If you like uh, baking as a healthy option, I like deep frying it. Don't tell Dr. Mai. Look how it puffs up like a pastry. It's almost like a beignet, but a redfish beignet. Ooh, that is beautiful. That's what you want right there. Guys, one other tip, you got hot meat that's being deep fried with cheese. Don't try to eat these things too fast. I've always always try to eat it too fast and it burns the top of your mouth. <laughs> it ruins your meal. Let it cool off, let it sit for a while, and then eat it. Alright guys, this is Redfish Murdoch. It's a great dish. You know, if your kids want to eat fish, it's a great way to eat fish. My kids ate so much fish growing up that they just got tired of fish. This is a good way to get them back introduced to fish. That's a wrap guys, stay tuned to next week. Food's gone.